So on this one, we're going to continue solving this one. It's going to be a subtraction problem. And let's see if we can figure it out why. It says, like I, like I said before, before I can try to solve it, I need to go one sentence at a time, pull the information out from my problem, and then from there build my model and figure out what to do. Okay, so first sentence is Maria had 135 stickers in an album. What did she have? Stickers. So Maria had 135 stickers. Okay, great. First sentence, done. Next sentence. Her friend gave her some more stickers. Her friend gave her more stickers. Do I know how many stickers she, her friend gave her? No. So, but I know that her friend gave her some more stickers. I don't know how many more, but I know I get, she gave her some more stickers. Okay. Next sentence is now she has 187 stickers. Now she has 187 stickers. What would that represent, that 187? Would it be my total? Would it be parts. my parts? Total. How do you know it's the total? Because if you add. Don't tell me if you add. I don't know that yet. How do I know that's my total? Exactly, because now she has 187. And if you notice, that's more than what she had before. Again, I'm going to say that one more time. I know this has to be my total. First of all, because it says that now she has 187. Also, that's because this one, what she has now is more than she had before. Okay, so now I know that her total now is 187 stickers. The question is, how many stickers did her friend give her? So that's what I need to know. I need to know how many stickers did she receive for from her friend. That's the first part of my problem. The next one is building my model. <coughs> In my model, I need to figure it out. Do I know my total? What's my total? 187. 187. That's the total because that's how much she has now. I know how many she had before or how many she had at the beginning. So that would be one of my parts, right? I know that she has one, she 137. And I know that her friend gave her some more. Do I know how much, how many more she gave her? No. <coughs> no. So that's where my question is. Oh, 35. Thank you. Okay. So now, question is, can I add 135 plus what her friend gave her. No. Why not? Because I know I don't know what that number is, so I cannot add these two. Look at the next question. Can I add 135 plus Okay, this one is more than 135, but I can still add those two numbers. In this case, why I cannot add 187 plus 
Think about in these terms why I cannot add 135 plus 187. Mm, not exactly. Why I cannot add these two? The reason why I cannot add 187 plus 135, it's because 185 is my total. It's all that she has. So if I add this, that's going to be a lot more than what she has in all. I cannot add these two because one is my total. It's like saying I have 10 apples in my, on the table. And there are three that are green. The rest are red. Well, I cannot add 10 apples plus 3 apples because all I have on the table is 10. That's my total. I can't have more because that's space on the table. In this case, it's the same. Her total number of stickers now is 187. She cannot have more than 187. Okay? That's why you cannot add these two numbers. So, to figure out how to find that number, what would I need to do with these two? Subtract. I need to subtract because 187 when I take what she had at the beginning is going to give me what her friend gave her. So to figure out how many stickers her friend gave her I would need to subtract the total 187 minus what I had at the beginning. 135. So, again, like I said, when you add or subtract, your bigger number always goes first. So I have 187 minus 135. Let's refresh. 7 minus 5. 2. 2. 8 minus 3. 5. five. In one minus one, zero. So now I know that her friend gave her 52 stickers. Her friend gave her 52 stickers.